Hello friends, welcome back to Merzak. In this session, we are going to talk about Sonar Cube tool, okay, which is an open source platform, you know, uh, for continuous inspection of code quality to perform automatic reviews with static analysis of code to detect bugs, code smells, and security vulnerabilities. So as per my knowledge, this almost support 20 plus languages, okay, and uh, around 27, seven languages supported by, you know, SonarCube. Okay, so MuleSoft, we'll talk about in terms of MuleSoft. So MuleSoft consists of mainly XML files, Java files, and facilities. So SonarCube is supporting the review of MuleSoft codes. So rules given in the SonarCube, those are standard for XML validations. Custom rules can also be added to achieve, you know, any specific requirement. So SonarCube can only be used for coding standard and not for functional validation, okay? So SonarCube can analyze up to, as I said, 27 different languages on your edition. It's based on your edition, which edition you are using. Okay, so the, the outcome from this scanning will be, you know, the <clears throat> uh, code quality measures and issues, okay? So wherever instances where, you know, coding uh, rules are were broken, all those things will be in a, you know, it will be, uh, you know, notified uh, via dashboards. So main component of Sonar Cube is like Sonar Server, okay? Sonar Scanner, a Sonar uh, Cube Plugins, Database. These are main. So we are going to install Sonar Cube Server locally, and then we'll run the Sonar Scanner locally, okay? So let's jump on to the demo part, okay? So let me show you. So first we'll, We'll go to the you know uh, a link where we can download the. So I'll go to the yeah. So from here we can download the Sonar Cube uh, server. So we'll go with the community edition, which is you know free for us. Okay, open source. So we'll download this. We'll get a zip file. So let me show you that how it looks like. So you'll get, you'll get the zip file, so I got 9.3 and above version. So you can unzip it here, so I got this file. Okay, and then we'll download the Sonar Scanner. Okay, so let's go ahead and see the Sonar Scanner also. I'll add these links in the, you know, in the description below. So I can go ahead and say Sonar Scanner. We can, let's say Sonar Scanner. You can go ahead with the first link. So from here, you can download the Windows 64-bit Sonar Scanner. So this one also gives you the zip file, okay? Once you download the zip file, you'll get it to your zip file over here, Sonar Scanner, CLI, okay? Once you unzip it, you'll get Sonar Scanner 4.6.2, which is latest one I have right now, okay? So first we'll go, first we'll start the server. So we'll first configure the Sonar Cube server. So let's go ahead here. Let's go to the bin directory. So first we need to check which Java version we have. This Sonar Cube server is not going to work with the JDK 8. So we need to download JDK 11. So I downloaded JDK 11 also. So you can go ahead and download open JDK where we don't need to create any, you know, open uh, JDK 11 for Windows. Can go ahead and download from here. So you can go for JDK 11. Okay, latest I, I see that 17 is there, but go ahead and download, you know, 11. So I downloaded that 11 also in my software. So I'll show you. So it's there JDK 11.0. Okay, so this is there. Now we need this JDK 11, unless you're, uh, you know, when you try to start your Sonar Cube server, it will throw error. Okay, now let's go to the bean directory first. And here, all the types of Sonar Cube servers are provided. So we'll be going with our Windows. So you can see here, start sonar.bat file. We start this. So first, we'll start the command line from here. So let's start the command line. And from here, I'll just say start sonar.bat. If you have proper, so before starting it, one configuration we need to do, just let me show you not here go to configuration directory here in the sonar properties here not here 
check clean with the folder wrapper config and here you need to give your java jdk 11 uh, bin folder till java you need to pass this path okay by default only java will be there so you need to pass where your jdk 11 is okay once this is done you are ready to launch your sonar cube server okay so let's run this let's wait for so behind the you know scene it's using elastic search let's wait for this Process it up. So you can see that now Sonar Cube is up there. Okay, so let's see the dashboard. So we can go ahead and see that here. Instead of there, I can go to my, let's say local 9000, okay? And you can queue, so by default, your username and password will be admin admin. You can go ahead and change it. So I already changed. Okay, so this will, this kind of dashboard you'll say, you'll see here, okay? so. Let's not focus on this right now. Let's go ahead and start the, now do the configuration for Sonar Cube Scanner, okay? So I have created simple project over here in my AnyPoint Studio. So I've created simple project. So let me show you a few things we need to do here. So this is my, I'm going to scan this project where I have XML files, okay? So in, when you create a normal project, so there will be some, you know, XML schemas will be missing, like OS will be missing, Java will be missing, E will be missing, API gate also will be missing. So I'll show you the normal project where I have imported a schema, you know, API space which and generated this. You can see here, there is no schema for OS, E, and, you know, uh, even for your API gateway. So I'll add this schema also, this list of schema, I'll add it in the description also. This has to be there. Then only your scanner will work proper, okay? So this is a one step. Now, second step, we have downloaded our, so now Sonar Cube server configuration is done. It's up and running. I will go to a scanner now, okay? So scanner in the configuration file, you have this Sonar scanner file, okay? So let's open this. Here, here you need to provide your, since our, Sonar Cube server is running locally. So this is your URL. This is a login. This is the password. Okay. Now, so I have already changed the password. So uh, I have, you know, um, here I've added only admin admin, but my headings are different. Admin and my own password. Okay. So this first, uh, you know, so first we need to change the schema, external schemas over there in your project. Second, in the scanner dot properties file, we need to add the location where sonar cube server is running okay so this is the second step third step we need to go to our project root directory okay so now let me stop this project i don't want this in your project root directory create a file called sonar hyphen project dot properties in your project root root location okay now open this in this file you need to pass few properties okay so sonar project key property this will be you know this is unique it has to be unique okay on a you know uh, sonar cube instance and the same key will be visible in your dashboard also okay i'll show you that and other properties are optional but if you want to pass we can say same property uh, project name as this and so our project version you can give 1.0 default it will be not provided and then path of your sonar dot properties file okay 
So not project dot properties file. So it's there in the root directory. So we are giving dot. That means your current directory. And then sonar, uh, you know, uh, source encoding. You you know, so that we are passing as UTF-8. So this is third step. Okay. So once these three things are done, you are ready for scanning your project. So let's go ahead and now scan our project. So what you need to do? You need to go to this directory. Okay, but before that, let me copy this bin sonar back this file. So I'll go ahead here and I'll say forward. No, just a second. This one. Yeah, I can copy this control C. And actually, this we need to run it from our project root directory. Okay. Go to root project root directory first. Properties. Go here. This is our project which we wanted to scan. Start the command line from here. Okay. Now go here. No. This is our back file. So we need to run this. Is scanning our code now. So it will load all these matrices to our sonar cube local server. Okay, so this is successful, execution is successful. Now we can go to our, our projects. This is our Sonar Cube server running locally. It will show you if there, if there are any errors. Okay. So quality gate are pass, reliability. Everything is perfect. Everything is green. Nothing is breaking right now. Okay. Yeah. So that's all from this session. Hope you liked it. Hope you feel it's useful. So yeah, please. Subscribe the channel, share with your friend, hit the like button, hit the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next session where we'll be talking about new topic, different topic, which will be useful for your new soft journey. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.